the Hasbeck said goodbye in 2013. And I got to tell you, this was, I love sitting at the table with her. I, I learned a lot uh, and we had great fun. And I'm thrilled as is joy. Yeah. To welcome her She's still skinny. back. I saw her. That's right. <laughs> she, She's as the so thin. author of the new book God. Point of View, <laughs> Elizabeth Hasselbeck. <laughs> Over there at the corner, put your arm up. Say hi. Oh, hi, hi Rob. Rob. You see Rob? Rob. <laughs> Come up here, Rob. Hello. Are you record? Love you, baby. Love you. And with you. The most action is happening right here. Right here. Yeah. Good, good people. I never forget it. A decade long here, and it's like family. I tell you. How are you right. feeling? I love you. I'm, Don't I'm, scare me like that again. That I feels won't. better. <laughs> I'm doing much better. Okay. Six years since you uh, took this seat at this table. Weird, odd. Coming back? Coming back. You know what? I think when you spend a decade with yeah. anyone, I mean, when you think about it, it's between the ages of 8 and 18, right? Mm -hmm. In many ways. Right. And I feel like I grew up here. I had babies here. It's like a family. So this, feel, that, this actually feels really good, I have oh, to say. And I'm okay. thankful. God's been really good to let me come back. Um, I'll be honest. When I wrote this book, one of the things I said was, I'll, I'll, I'll write this book, God, um, but it, I won't go back to The View to talk about it. <laughs> uh -oh. God so works maybe, in mysterious ways. He does. Maybe I had a little work to be on. He's like, okay, well, we're going to work on your heart as you write this book. And then I have to tell you, it really came over me like with just a joy to come back here and you know, just God, be able to God, talk about this. God knows that The View sells books. <laughs> Are you telling me, Joy, that you too now hear God? Yes. Oh, don't you know? I hear it all the time. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I love that I bother you today still. Yeah, no, no. You you're, do, not. you're too skinny still. She does. No, she's always been skinny. But no, we used to fight on the air all the time. What's that like? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Very different. It's a little different. But um, a little different. But truthfully, we never fought backstage. See, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's harder to be on Survivor sitting at this table. I've been here almost two. How in God's name did you do this for 10 years? I'm serious. Being the lone conservative on this show is, I have, I always had respect for you. When I first came on my first day, I said, I wish to emulate Elizabeth. Oh, God. Because you really were the OG of this seat. What about you will Abby? always have, I'm sorry, Abby as well. Right. I, I, no, but she, but you are a very hardcore conservative, and I've made it very clear. Like, I, I'm a more moderate. So it's, that position is incredibly tough. It is. Well, I think, too, here's the thing. I think both, we all have unique voices, mm -hmm. right? So no matter what side of the aisle you're on politically, like, we have an innate natural voice and tone when it comes to things like politics and really tough topics, which we've taken on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the coolest thing here, and it was a joy to actually, like, articulate in point of view, is that no matter where you are, I think the great thing, and women take for granted sometimes, the ability here on this show um, to hold your constitutional right to your beliefs and your religious mm -hmm. freedoms in one hand and hold your friend's hand in the other yeah. when they don't agree with you. And I think for, we don't do that for 10 years, a decade long, we without having respect for yeah. one another mm -hmm. deep yeah. down. And yeah. the idea that we have this relationship, yeah. you know, because we don't, I said in the book, Whoopi and I don't think the same about a lot of things, but we love the same. And that's good. And we should yeah. be able to now be able to, um, like I said, hold your beliefs, which we have a right to. Thank yeah. God in this country we have a right this to those. Country. And hold the hand uh, of our uh, friends, no matter where you stand on the issues. Okay. And I think you both have unique, strong voices. You all do here. When it comes to moderates and conservatives, listen, it's not easy to be outnumbered. You know that. Mm -hmm. But I do think um, that's okay. That's okay. Just keep doing you. Like, you're amazing at this. You're amazing at this. You all are incredible at this. So I think um, the goal is just to keep the conversation going because you have to come back the next day and have that's another right. one. Yeah, that's right. 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 And About that's something it. totally different. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I was, right? I was right. reading the book 
I actually was reading the book. It's a difficult read, isn't it, Joy? <laughs> no, it's not. It's easy. I was reading the chapter on when you, uh, when they didn't renew your contract yes. at The View. And, you know, that happened to both of us at the same time. Yeah. And two people arrived at our door. Yes. One tall and one short, like Mutt and Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and said the same thing to both of us. Yeah. We're not renewing your contract. Wow. And um, it was around the same time, I think, too. So. Mm -hmm. Which is translation for you're fired. Let's, like, not write yeah. that. Okay. It's Spanish for it's you're fired. It's TV for yeah. you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> but in the future, we're just going to give you notice. But your, yeah. your reaction was the opposite of mine, I have to say. Yes. Uh, you were upset. According to your book, you were uh, had an asthma attack. Yes. You, were, you totally freaked out by it. I did. And your kids were upset. You were upset. Mm -hmm. I was happy. <laughs> an interesting difference in it the is. two of yeah, us. Maybe is. it's my age or something, but mm -hmm. I was like, thank you. I really appreciate this moment. <laughs> but that's and I went on to do two years of very creative work. Yeah. yeah. So if they fire me again, I, I might even write a play. Right. No, I <laughs> so what I'm saying to you is, what happened? Why did you take it so hard? You're a yeah. beautiful, healthy, intelligent woman yes. with a gorgeous family, parents who love you. Look at them. They're right there. Mom. Your father Dad. looks very, yes. very sticky. Oh, yes. oh, yes. I love that. So what, what was it about it that, that wounded you so? You know, it's a really good question. I think where you were then is where I am now. Good. And I write, mm -hmm. I write a lot. Of, you read it. I wrote a lot about that process um, behind the scenes and what that was like for me. And at the time... I couldn't see, like, mm -hmm. I couldn't see beyond that. I felt probably a, lot, a little prideful. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I felt hurt and wounded. Yeah. I, I likely felt like, wait a minute, who the heck would want to do this job? Who are you going to get in here to do that? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not an easy a few job. hosts in between to get. Yeah. It's yeah. Not, yeah. Easy. Yeah. not easy, but no. I, I, listen, I was, I was pridefully wounded. I yeah. think that's what it was, just oh, to be honest. Really? And I was, yeah. I was yeah. hurt. What and did I, thought, I do wrong yourself? Yeah, I'm just trying to do my job for 10 years, and I'm a loyal person. So I really felt, in a way, a, probably a dose of betrayal, which is why mm -hmm. when I set out to write this book, I didn't know the, the path that God would take me on to get my heart where yours was already. Mm -hmm. You know, where I said thank you. It was probably one of the better difficult things that has happened to me, where I can mm -hmm. look back on that time and that challenge, and it pushed me to a new place. Good. And it, it really made me rely um, a lot less on my own abilities and a lot more on what God can do. Hold on one second. Hold all of that. Wow. She's sticking around. Mm -hmm. We will be right back.